Goblet of Truth, the book of the entire teaching of the prophets. Teaching of Truth, Teaching of Spirit, Teaching of Life from Kenak Enoch, Eliah Elijah, Isaiah Isaiah, Jeremiah Jeremiah, Emmanuel Emmanuel, Muhammad Muhammad, and Billy Bean. An important word regarding the translation of Goblet of Truth, Kelch Thervarheit. The rich and flexible vocabulary and structure of the German language makes it ideal for explaining and conveying any subject matter in all of its complexity, nuances and detail. No other language on earth can match the German language in this regard. Therefore, the English language with its comparatively limited vocabulary, flexibility and structure is, as a language, a poor one and can never match the high value that is achieved with the German. Unfortunately, the English language has a great many meaningless religious words for corresponding neutral German terms. There is also a lack of suitable forms of expression in English, which means that the German forms must be expressed in a different way by using synonyms in order to find an appropriate form of expression in English. As a result, it is not possible to translate Kelch Thervarheit into English and convey everything that is in the original German text. The high value of this work can only be completely expressed and made comprehensible through the German language. The human beings of Earth shall strive to make the German language to the world language because it is the most valuable of all languages that are in use on Earth. Corrections and additional explanations in consultation with Billy Edward Albert Meyer, Villa Mondria and Marian Neulinger. Introduction in this book, The Goblet of Truth, The True Prophet of the New Time, Billy Edward Albert Meyer, known as Beam, is once again providing the human beings of Earth as well as extraterrestrial races and peoples with a very significant work of truly universal uniqueness. Originally, he had intended to undertake this eminent and highly expressive transcription in the year 2017. However, for important health reasons, he was induced to set down this extremely valuable written legacy, indeed one that is steeped in history, at an earlier stage. The first lines originated on Sunday, 19 August 2007. After only five months and 17 days of intensive work, he completed the task on Tuesday, 5 February 2008. In the course of these 171 days, concealed from our hectic and restless planet and in the seclusion of the Semyasa Silver Star Center at Hinterschmidverti, and during many nights, O Epico Manuscript comprising 264 pages was created. This work, being only a provisional conclusion of Billy's untiring work, is in its bound form structured as a long series of highly instructive pearls of evolutive luster which have been penned by his hand to date, and which form the psyche and the consciousness. The very short time taken to complete the book even surprised his extraterrestrial friends, since they had themselves expected the completion to require several years. The tome comprises a total of 28 chapters. Similarly to the OM book 1988, the structure is based on chapters as well as numbered verses, and employs a similar linguistic mode of expression. By the power of his consciousness-related ability, his extraordinary skills and his in-depth knowledge, Beam called up the first 14 chapters from terrestrial storage banks where they have been stored for millennia in the form of a symbolic picture language. What this amounts to is the original teaching of Nocodemion, billions of years old, that has been taught on this planet Earth and disseminated by his six subsequent proclaimers from Henoch to Mohammed in various genuine explanations and in accordance with the understanding of their particular epoch. By name, the following listed prophets have been involved. 1. Henoch Enoch 3 February 9308 BCE to 1 January 8942 BCE 2 Elia Elijah 5 February 891 BCE to 4 June 780 BCE 3 
Isaiah, Isaiah, 7 February 772 BCE to 5 May 690 BCE, 4, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, 9 February 662 BCE to 3 September 580 BCE, 5, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, 3 February 02 BCE to 9 May 111 CE, as well as 6, Mohammed 19 February 571 CE to 8 June 632 CE. The six named proclaimers of the spiritual teaching stood in direction, progression and prophetic line with one another, and therefore represent a continuous rebirth of the spirit form. The important task rested on every single one of them to announce the original teaching of no Kadimian to the earthly humankind of their particular time and life epoch delivering it to posterity according to their best ability and capability. Like the prophet of the new time, they were also supported and accompanied in their mission and task by advisors and teachers of extraterrestrial origin. Due to the continuously changing perceptive faculty of people as well as an increasingly highly developed consciousness over the course of the millennia, more highly developed rational and cognitive thinking as well as growing cognitive capabilities, the teaching of creational laws and recommendations had to be adapted by the prophets again and again to the new evolutive conditions and taught accordingly. Over the course of the approximately 11,000 years of their mission and their appearance, the spoken and written traditions repeatedly fell prey to oblivion and material degradation in accordance with the naturally given laws of growth and decay. Until the present time, the prophets of the past millennia have not been given any technical means of recording the teaching of spirit for posterity or making it accessible. Only in the cosmic storage banks have their teaching and explanations been retained and stored for all time down to the present day. On the one hand, the purpose and intention of this book, the Goblet of Truth are based on unifying the aforementioned prophetic traditions and explanations of past epochs as a consistent overall working one book for the first time. On the other hand, there had been provision for ages that the spiritual teaching of chapters 15 to 28 should be put into words by the last and seventh prophet, the prophet of the new time, in a new form adapted to the current time, although the content of the chapters referred to is only present in the storage banks as headwords and thematic indications. For this reason, with this text, Beam is once again fulfilling one of his old determinations and voluntarily discharging his duty to expand the teaching of Nocodemian with his own edition, in which case it was also necessary to write chapters 15 to 20 in an old written language. The six different explanations illustrate in a very impressive way that renewing and adapting the teaching of Nocodemian to the particular given times and epochs is entirely possible without falsifications, perversions, misinterpretations or the loss of its actual sense and value. The preconditions of this are the true love of creational truth as well as its laws and recommendations, a high level of self-discipline, self-responsibility sense of responsibility, respect and venerability as well as a truly noble character as has been developed by the true prophets since time immemorial. Equally, the prophetic records are also a very interesting and exciting contemporary document from a linguistic perspective. Long forgotten and very old terms of German linguistic usage awake to new luster and new use due to their rediscovery. With their elemental power they give the mastery of writing and form expression of the work a very special distinction and charm. Terms such as chicken-heartedness cowardice, demand begging, nobleness virtues, two-partedness doubt, spirit body spirit form, allocation plan budget, solemn ones holy ones, dwelling of the impalpable the other world, hazy pictures delusions, grace favor, inner world of firmaments, universal consciousness, premium benefit, consonance harmony, as well as numerous other expressions that are largely unknown in current linguistic usage and rich and expand the very valuable texts in an impressive way. 
The variety of terms used by the old prophets for naming creation is also very interesting.